Welcome to PCMRP's video tutorial series. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate some of PCMRP's advanced features. The first advanced feature we'll cover is PCMRP's ability to automatically download price quantity breaks from Mauser, DigiKey, Allied, TTI, and Avnet. To demonstrate this feature, I will select Inventory and Edit. I will enter the first couple letters of the part number, 0000, and click on the search button. Once I've selected my part number, I will click on the OK button. Now select the Details 1 tab and click on the ellipse button next to the manufacturer's part number. Please note that the vendor must exist in PCMRP's address book. If the vendor does not exist in PCMRP's address book, PCMRP will not be able to save the price quantity breaks for this vendor part number combination. In this case, I'll select DigiKey and press OK to download the price quantity breaks from DigiKey's website. PCMRP will now go out on the web and retrieve the price quantity breaks for this vendor. If the vendor alters his website, it may prevent PCMRP from downloading price quantity breaks for that vendor's website. In that case, please update your version of PCMRP as we frequently update PCMRP to keep up with the latest website changes. Updating your version of PCMRP is simple as clicking on the configuration menu, set, setting an admin lockout, and downloading and installing a new revision. Once PCMRP has retrieved the price quantity breaks, click on the Yes button to load the prices into PCMRP's price quantity breaks for this vendor and part number. Click on the Vendors tab and select DigiKey. As you can see, DigiKey price quantity breaks have been stored for this part number. PCMRP's purchasing module will use this feature by automatically highlighting the vendor with the best price for the quantity of the part number you are ordering. Clicking on the OK button and Finish will save my changes and bring me back to PCMRP's main menu. The second advanced feature we'll demonstrate is PCMRP's Infinite Bucket Module. To generate an MRP schedule, I will select Optional, Infinite Bucket, and Generate Action Items. First, select the inventory areas that stock can be issued from. Next, select the items that are going to drive demand open sales orders, open work orders, open sales quotes with probabilities, labor requirements, and or minimum quantities. Finally, select the vendor that PCMRP is going to recommend, the primary vendor or the vendor with the best price. Clicking the OK button will allow PCMRP to generate an action item database file. The action item database file will contain all the buy, issue, and make action items necessary to deliver your product on time. The open sales and work orders with the earliest due dates will be allocated existing on-hand parts and purchase orders. Once the on-hand parts and purchase orders have been allocated, PCMRP will create buy action items for the remaining sales and work orders. Once the action date item database file has been created, users can create, buy, make, issue, and push-pull reports. Graphical reports can be generated by selecting Optional, Infinite Bucket, and MRP Timeline. Select a sales or work order. Now we can see a Gantt chart that contains all the buy, issue, make, and ship action items necessary to deliver that sales order on time. Clicking on the Close button will bring me back to PCMRP's main menu. The third feature we will demonstrate is PCMRP's ability to store infinite contacts per address. To demonstrate this feature, I will select Modules, Address Book, and Edit. Since I'm looking for a company named ABC Electronics, I will enter ABC and press the search button. Once I've selected the company, I'll press the OK button. Now I'll click on the Contacts tab for this customer. Here I can add infinite contacts per address, with infinite contact methods per contact, such as phone, cell, email, etc. Also notice, by clicking on the contact notes, I can store infinite contact notes per contact. Clicking on the OK button and no, I do not want another record will save my changes and bring me back to PCMRP's main menu. PCMRP allows accountants to easily charge a customer's credit card within a second or two without having to re-enter your account ID, password, and credit card information every time you want to change a credit card. To demonstrate this feature, I'll select Modules, Accounting, General Ledger, New Transaction, cash and carry sales. I will then select the invoice that I want to process and click on the OK button. Here you can see PCMRP is set to automatically debit the checking account and the cost of goods sold.
Clicking on the credit tab shows PCMRP is set to automatically credit business income, overhead, inventory, and wages as inside labor was a part of this assembly. Turning our attention to the credit card. Pressing the down arrow button will allow you to select another card. Pressing the plus button will allow you to add a credit card to this customer's account. Press the process credit card button to process the credit card. It usually just takes a couple of seconds to process the card. Credit cards can only be processed by users with accounting, with accounting edit and accounting edit rights or higher. Once the credit card has been accepted or rejected, the comments tab will display the matches and or mismatches that caused the credit card to be accepted or rejected. Pressing the save button inserts the debits and credits into the general ledger. This is just one of several or of many features provided by PCMRP. Features as one I showed you allow companies to function as efficiently as possible. Thank you.